Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Rampage World Tour on the Nintendo 64. Last time, we just uh, destroyed several scum labs, uh, two in one city, actually. I think we got a grand total of uh, three, and now we are on uh, day 100 from day 15 previously. So, we're doing pretty good. Assuming there actually is 130 levels, like, uh, like I saw online, then we're pretty damn close to the end. So maybe two more videos? Possibly three? I don't know. But... Siamese kitty cat for points, electrocution to start us off, why not? And a lot of snacks, there you go, very nice. Ooh, that building is just a Cracker Jack box full of snacks, isn't it? Okay, I was trying to go for, uh, hey, it's, uh, what's his face, uh, what the heck is, what the heck is that damn, uh, redneck comedian guy, uh, uh, I can't remember his name. Okay. How come that just blew up and didn't blow up the whole building? What the heck? Uh, what is that damn redneck comedian? Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about, right? So I sure don't. He's kind of fat. He's a redneck. Uh, that's about all I really know about him. Alright, doggy. Thank you. Oh, Orange County. Hey, we're back in the USA. Because Orange County's in California, because I used to live in the Orange... Well, I don't really live in Orange County. I lived in uh, everywhere but Orange County, more or less. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to have a uh, scum labs in here, if I can get past this tank of doom. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Dude. Alright, screw you, Tank. Alright, you're dead. Uh, no, there is not a Scum Labs. Okay. There's bananas and french fries in the same building. That's a weird combo. I like bananas, I like french fries, but uh, I don't think they'd go well together. Now, maybe banana ice cream like Chunky Monkey. Oh, that stuff is delicious. I could eat that stuff all day. You would never think you like banana flavored ice cream, and then you try a chunky monkey, and you're like, "Oh, this is beautiful, heaven on earth, heaven in a heaven in a five dollar one pint container." It it's, it may be mildly overpriced, but it's definitely worth it in my in my opinion. I'd rather pay five dollars for the pint of Ben and Jerry than like three dollars for like a gallon of some like plain vanilla from Briars or Dryers or whatever Briars. Alright, you with the flamethrower, go away. Okay, how about you don't ignore the building? There we go. Yeah, I haven't recently good luck with my controller today. It's uh, actually not fucking up too bad. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most times it's a uh, it's a knock. Okay. The electrocution wouldn't be so bad, because I don't mind the damage, but it takes so long for the electrocution. Uh, 99%. Damn it. It takes so long for the animation to go through that it wastes a lot of time. Reno 911? I've never really watched that show. I mean, I've seen a few episodes, but I didn't really find the appeal. In okay, I'm looking for the scum labs here, dude. Okay. There is no scum labs. There. There's an embassy. McDonald's fries, eggs, and well, no food in that one. But there was a person. Oh, I was gonna get the guy in bed. Dang it. I'm not sure if it's just the emulator, or if it's just like this on the N64, but every time I get knocked to the ground, and I see I still have a little sliver of health left, and you, you know what, screw you, spaceship. Every time I, every time I get knocked to the ground, and I see I still have that little sliver of health left, I want to think that I'm still going to survive, and then I realize, nope, that's just the game's way of saying you're pretty much dead, despite looking like you still have health left. Ooh, MasterCard. Ah! 
Is that the whole place? Yes, it is. Reno, we trashed you. You guys are trashy. And... Let's see. Silicon Valley. That's where uh, Apple was founded or something like that, right? Or at least where Steve's job is, Steve Jobs was from. Until I killed the tank. Dude, die. Okay. Okay, yes, this has to have a scum labs because, well, there's a lot of security. Uh, there is... No scum labs, just a lot of security. Okay. Maybe we're getting close to the next scum labs? That's probably it. There we go. Alright, get rid of the condos. Because they're overpriced. I got lucky on finding apartments when I turned 18. Because I moved out, like, right when I turned 18. And I got pretty lucky finding, uh, places... Uh, the first place I lived in, it was a, uh, pretty small studio apartment. It was, like, really small. But at the same time, it was only $375 a month. And, uh, gas, electricity, and water and stuff were all included. The only thing I had to pay for was a phone and TV. So, that was pretty nice. Uh, and then the apartment that I found, uh, about a year later was a bigger one-bedroom, one-bath. So it was still pretty small, but much bigger than the studio. And that was, I think, uh, five fifty a month with all utilities paid. So again, I've got really lucky on finding stuff like that. Then I see places going for like 700 and they might like do the trash for you or something. It's like, wow, that sucks. Of course, if I went back to those same places now, when I'm older, then they'd probably be significantly more expensive, but... See, uh, ooh, yes, you hot loogies, very nice. I can always use those. There you go. I wasn't trying to use that, but okay. Okay, loogie. There you go. Loogie for you. Loogie for you. And there goes all my loogies. Yeah, because when I was 18, that was 2002, so that was a while ago. Oh, you didn't destroy the building? They have loogie. Okay, that is some weird slowdown right here for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but okay. I guess I'm slowed down yesterday when I was recording uh, Gomon, but that was because some giant purple hologram robot was attacking me. And that was understandable. There was no reason for slowdown right there. That was just weird. I really hate those little flamethrower fuckers. They're apparently invisible, because I can't kill them to save my life. At least, every time I've tried, I've failed. I mean, you can destroy the helicopters, sure. You can destroy the tanks. You can destroy the spaceships. But the little guy with the jetpack? He's fucking Superman. Don't even think about it. Okay, that should have killed you. Okay, there we go. Alright, Apple. You're finished. I've always been more of a PC guy anyways. Sacramento. Check cashing. Those places charge an arm and a leg. Well... Most of them charge uh, between 1 and 3%, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, and it really isn't. But when you only make like uh, four or 500 bucks a paycheck, sometimes even 300, then every little, every little, uh, every dollar counts. My thing was, I went to the, uh, I didn't go to check cashing. I, I got stuck in a cycle of uh, check advances, where they, uh, I would borrow two hundred and fifty dollars, and have to pay back three hundred on my next paycheck. So I got stuck in a cycle of that, and that really sucked. I was in that cycle for a good year. I forget how I started that cycle. I think I started that cycle when I needed money in high school for 
just after high school for something. I think it was for rent, actually. Alright, turn around. Oh, I was trying to get you. Okay. Ah, you son of a bitch. Jumped just not high enough to get that. Alright, uh... Go, destroy... Alright, Sacramento, you are fucked. We should be close to another Scum Labs, right? Eureka? Uh, I haven't heard of that city before, but, uh... Oh well. Okay, no Scum Labs, let's just destroy everything. What the heck destroyed me right there? Birthday cake. Okay, sometimes... So, okay, last time I ate that thing, it didn't destroy anything. This time, it did. There must be some, like, randomness to it or something. Okay, you little shits. Come here, you. No. I was gonna go after you, but you're not worth the trouble. Okay, that rubber ducky took a surprisingly large amount of hits to kill for whatever reason. I don't know why, but he did. Why there was a rooster on the ground for me to eat, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I like KFC as much as the next guy, but that was just weird. Yeah, that was like 70%, wasn't it? Yeah, 80-ish. Close enough. That's my theory. If it looks good, I'll eat it. If it doesn't look good, I probably won't eat it. I t I'm the type of person when I go to a restaurant, I'll order the same thing, usually. Just because, well, I know what it tastes like and I know if I like it or not. I just don't try a lot of new stuff that all that often. I think I mentioned it before, but I'm the type of person where I go to the Mexican food place that I like and I order the cheeseburger combo. Just because I know I like it. And I'm not really big on Mexican food. Alright, open up. There you go. I'm surprised eating those little barrels of fire doesn't give you, like, a, the woogie breath or whatever it is. That'd be a neat little way to get the power up instead of having to rely on that, uh, little happy face box. Yeah, so you should get... It'd be nice if you got the, uh, the power from that, but oh well. Alright, can I continue punching you, dude? No? Ah, screw it. Maybe I can drop kick you. Yeah, 800 points. Close enough. Boy, that's in Michigan, right? I think. Portland, Oregon. I have mild geographic knowledge, just not a whole particular lot. I figure if I need to find out where something is, I'll look it up online somewhere. Right, there you go. Okay, what is this guy right here? He is dead. Uh, you with the... There you go. Okay, that totally should have gone up there again, but oh well. Okay, you... Okay, there we go. Sometimes that destroys the whole damn building, and sometimes it's just like, yeah, why not? I'll just pretend like I'm going to and then not. Does that say Croak and Grim? Not sure what that's trying to reference, but okay. Oh, it might be like referencing Coke and Gin. More time food. Damn it. Eat the people. There you go. Alright. Toilet paper. 
I gotta buy some of that. Portland, Oregon. Goodbye. All right, how about a Scum Labs now? We've been, uh, what, five levels of that one? Nine? Oh, wait, when, when was our last Scum Labs? I don't remember. Oh, well. You! Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm just gonna ignore you for right now. There you go. Why was she peeking out of the, the window when she was in a bath? Okay. Dude, enough with the water works. Cow, come here. I don't know. I know you don't give me anything, but I just like eating the cows. Okay. Okay. Did I actually kill that guy for once? I think I did. Either that or he just, uh, Hyper speeded off screen like he normally does. There you go. I like having this more power. It makes everything easier. There you go. That's probably one of the time based powers instead of the uh, hit based powers. Or they give you more hits than they do with the, uh, the flaming boogie of doom. Go, you, okay, you. Uh. Okay, I guess I, I guess you can destroy them. They just take like three or four hits. Which is kind of ridiculous. Alright, Vancouver, that's in Canada. I think. Unless there's a Vancouver in the United States that I forgot about, which is always possible. Alright, Scum Labs, Scum Labs, uh, Secret Facility. Not the same as the Scum Labs, but eh, close enough. There you go. Fucking tanks. Okay, I'm gonna get on this uh, damn spaceship if it kills me. Get up there, dude. Okay, you know what? Screw you. Why the heck did you jump so high there, dude? Get on the spaceship. Dude, stop rocket launching yourself off the damn building. Ah, you son of a bitch. Why the fuck did you keep on fucking Olympic jumping over the goddamn spaceship, you little shit? There you go, fuck. It took forever. Like, I was in good positions to jump on it, but she kept deciding to pole vault over the fucking thing for some reason. Alright, and this should be the last, or one of the last buildings. Or not. Alright, Vancouver, Canada, you are done. Wrecking Balls of Steel. Nice.
Is that a fish skeleton in that house? Okay, you. Come here, you little shit. I don't know if destroying that little building counts towards the full destruction. It probably doesn't, but eh, never hurts to make sure. Okay, what the... Those little grenades, they launch you high in the air. And you can't even recover by, like, landing on a building. Alright, got rid of the nuisances. Alright, there we go. Uh, Honolulu. So we went from Canada to Hawaii. That's a rather, lar a rather long trip. But, okay. Unless there's a, a Vancouver and Hawaii that I'm not, not aware of. Which I don't think there is. Can I get on this? Yes, I can. Very good. That was actually mildly painless. And we almost destroyed three buildings with it. So close. Well, Oahu didn't last very long at all. But we got a pig out bonus, I think. Alright, I want to destroy this guy right here. Oh, I forgot you could ride on the tanks. I always just thought of destroying the things. I forgot you could kind of ride on it for a few minutes. I totally forgot about that. Okay, I'm trying to eat you, slimy, so stop it. Die. Okay, screw you. Like I said, I don't think I can drive on these uh, little spaceships, but we can try. Okay, why is that little green dude teleporting around everywhere? Yeah, I don't think you can ride those things. It'd be kind of nice if they were, like, on our side. That'd be pretty funny. Because, well, we're trying to destroy Earth, they're trying to destroy Earth. It'd be a nice team-up, you know. A nice group effort. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. There you go. Okay, so now we're in Alaska. Kodiak. That's Alaska, I, th I think. Yeah, that is Alaska. Gnome. Uh, that's also in Alaska. Okay, how about we get to those uh, last couple robots of death? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get this guy too easily. Unless unless we get up here and get on the damn spaceship. Turn around, there you go. Okay. There you go. Much better. It took me a while, but it was well, well worth the effort. Oh yeah, more power. 
Delicious. Oh, that not more power than it lasts very long at all, did it? It only let me just throw like two buildings. Okay, yeah, there's a fish bone. Why is there a fish bone? It's just there for bad food, I guess. Uh, Santa Claus, is that you? I think it is. And I think I was supposed to wait for that safe to open, but oh well. Alright, Dick Tracy, got you. Come here, Polly. What the heck did I eat right there to cause me to throw up in the middle of the air? Alright, no Alaska. Totally destroyed. And I think we got one more level in us. Sure. Fairbanks, Alaska again. Okay, Scum Labs. Uh, I'll come back to you. Just hang on. Let me see if I can't find the goods. Okay, I need the goods. I need the goods. I need the goods. What happens if you, like, finish the area without destroying, like, anything? Okay, there's no goods here. That's not fair. I'm assuming as long as you, like, uh... I'm talking about just, like, a regular level, too. I'm assuming at these levels, as long as you destroy your scum lab, you're good to go. But if... What if you just don't destroy the scum labs, or on a normal level, what if you get, like, what if you just let time run out, time run out, and you just get, like, you let time run out, and you don't destroy a single building? How does that, how does that affect you? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you down there, Mr. Robot, because, uh, I don't feel like guessing with you today. Yes, continue. Stop killing me. Alright, Fairbanks, Alaska. Totally destroyed, along with the Scum Labs. Very nice. And you know what? We've got another 15 levels in, and if uh, my sources are correct, we have another 15 to go. So next time... We'll see if we're going to beat the game. If not, well, we'll keep going until we do. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.